this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website codingphase.com go check it out over 20 courses in there that's gonna guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro making sure that you get a job making sure that you come in and you learn all the skills on how to make money on your own as an independent either a freelancer or if you decide to make passive income all right go check us out Peace. This is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. Today we're sharing this article, how I went from programming with a feature phone to working at an MIT startup. How does this happen? You know, you're probably asking yourself, how is it that this happens? How does this kid, Elvis, Shin, you know, Shindera, how does he make this thing happen, right? How does a little kid creating some application on a village like <laughs> you know what i mean like you know we have everything here in the united states and then yet there's so many kids out there who don't get the opportunity to create cool stuff or they don't even know that the possibilities are there for them all right or even for you guys man you know right now you might be you know 34 35 years old and you're thinking in your head man maybe i should I should, you know, jump into this, but I just don't know. Can I still make it at my age? Am I too late? Uh, you know, you're 40 something years old. And you're like, oh man, I don't know. You know, maybe I'm too old. This is a young kid's game. Guys, it's not about a young kid's game. It's not about how old you are. It's not about, uh, you know, if you have money, if you don't have money, it's about, do you really want this? You get what I'm saying? Like people complain all the time. They're like, man, you know, I'm on, I'm on this, this computer. I don't have a Mac. I don't have this, this and that guys. Linux is free. You download Ubuntu. Ubuntu is free. You could take a really, really old computer, put in Ubuntu and it'll feel like it's brand new for web development and programming in general. You don't need a lot of Ram. You don't need a lot of, uh, memory for it or a big hard drive all you need is like the minimum that's it and you could build something right now this kid is from nigeria he was just like a kid in a village all he had was a, a nokia phone and he basically created an application with that all right and then you know with time he got a little bit better people started appreciating the fact that you know how the hell did this kid build something like this with a BS phone? You know, like, look at this, like on this phone, you know what I mean? Like people come here and be like, man, I don't even have a computer guys. You have an Android phone. Do you know that on Android? There's literally a whole bunch of, uh, applications where you could come in and code in there and create your applications through there, through your own phone. You could create an application. You could create your own website through your own phone. You don't even need a computer. Okay. And there's websites out there. If your computer's slow or whatever, you could use something like a uh, code sandbox that IO. All right. And, or repl .it, and pretty much build your application there. Okay. So there's really no excuse for you guys, man. You know, this kid built this thing with this now, you know, now with the proper, uh, training and you know being around the right people now he's in you know in uh, a starter from uh, MIT now of course you're probably thinking oh man you know they probably felt bad for him they set him up gave him new computers and all that stuff it could be true let's be honest it could be true you know but what got him there is the fact that he had the skills right he had the determination to come in and say, Hey, I'm going to build something. I have a lot of ideas. I don't have the right, you know, the right training. I don't have the right tools, but look what I could do with just this. You get what I'm saying? So it opens doors for you. You have to work hard, right? If you're still thinking like, man, I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can do this guys. If you're still thinking like that, like you only hurting yourself. All right. And you probably think in your head, like, man, Joe, what you doing? Free cold camp. You talk bad about free cold camp. 
Guys, I don't talk bad about free cold camp. I actually like free cold camp. What I said to people was the fact that you can fall in a trap of just, you know, um, there's a word that uh, Real Tough Candy said. Um, man, it was something like tutorial heaven. You get what I'm saying? Like everything on a tutorial is perfect, right? But the real world doesn't work like that. Right, you could come in and go to free code camp and just follow along the little tutorials that they have there, but you're not really building anything. You're just like following along things that are in the documentation. But that's all I said. You can use it for practice, but you also need to use other uh, tools and other places to really learn this stuff. So, you know, I tell people all the time just don't fall into the trap of like, you know, I'm just gonna go to free code camp and do the little uh, assignments there and that's it. I know how to code. No, you need to build websites. Those are the things that's going to get you to become successful. But one good thing about free code camp that I really enjoyed is the fact that they always have new articles. You know, a lot of people like free code camp. So they come in and share their articles and share their stories with the community. And, you know, a lot of those guys, they didn't make it because of free code camp. But they like to share it because Free Code Camp has such a large community that if you release an article here, you pretty much reach out to like 400,000 different developers or up and coming developers. So it's a great platform for that. All right. Now, going back to this kid, man, like, I mean, like, what more do you guys want? You know what I mean? Like, as far as motivation, it's like, man, it's. This kid can make it with a freaking Nokia phone. Like, I know exactly what type of phone this is because um, back in 2001, 2002, I used to have a phone like this and I used to make my own beats on it. And I also used to make little programs in it. Or if you ever use a, what is it, Native Instruments calculator, I forgot, Texas Instruments calculator, um, pretty much you could do some a little programming in there too. Like, I remember playing Pokemon on <laughs> on a friend's calculator because he actually put in Pokemon inside of his calculator. So, yeah, man, like, you can come in and, and, and learn a lot, man. And it's all about your determination, man. If you over here uh, worrying about, man, how old I am, oh, I don't have money, I don't even know if I can afford this, I don't know if I can take some time off to, to learn this, if you worrying about that, man, you're always going to be one of those people for the rest of your life that is going to be wondering, like, what if I would have became a developer? What if I would have came in and worked hard? You know, there's people that's here on this channel right now that they've been here for a year and they know who they are and they've had a lot of improvements. All right. Some of them are still scared to go for job interviews. And I tell them all the time, man. What are you doing? You need to start going for job interviews. Like you already know the skills. Now it's just about just being confident. Just show up to the job interview. Even if they don't hire you, the first one or the second one or the third one, on the fourth one, you've learned everything that you needed to say and all the things that you needed to do to become a developer. So on the fourth one, you will get that job. It's just how any career is, you know? People that, you know, are some of them are lucky. They might come in and get the job the first day. You might just check off all the checklists that they need. And they're like, okay, this person knows HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Check. This person has experience with the back end and PHP. Even though we use, uh, let's say, Java or they use um, ASP.NET, this person already has experience with the back end. So we can train him with .NET. So let's give him that check. So now he got that little check. He's like, okay, cool. We could hire this person. You get what I'm saying? So don't worry about if you're going to be able to do this. Guys, trust me, anybody can do this. It's just not everybody will do it. <laughs> There's a big difference. Everybody can do it, but not everybody will do it. You get what I'm saying? Out of everybody that's here, this what, 12,000 people, right? 12,000 people, I will say 4,000 of those people will really follow through, all right? And then that's just how it is. You know, that's why, that's the beauty of it. 
right? Like, I love everybody that's here. But let's be honest, not everybody is going to make it because not everybody works as hard. Not everybody wants to do it. Everybody wants to have the the final outcome, which is a large paycheck, security, uh, benefits. You could start your own business, your own company. But the journey to get there, not everybody wants to go through it. Not everybody wants to come here and be in front of a computer, you know, after work for two, three hours, right? Not everybody wants to do that. You came home, you work at a, a restaurant, you work at, you know, um, as retail, you work at an office doing data entry. After you come home at six o'clock, you don't want to come home and spend another two, three hours in front of a computer, right? If you're feeling like that, you're not going to make it, all right? The people that come in and say, hey, I want this. This year, I came in and I'm only making $30,000. Next year, I want to make double of that. I want to come in and make $60,000, $70,000, $80,000, right? Your job is not going to offer that at all. They're not going to offer you that at all. Let's be honest. They're just not. You know, most jobs come in and they'll be like, hey, man, we're going to give you a little raise of 3% per year or or even less than that. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're, how long is going to be till you get to double your, your paycheck? It's going to take you a lot of years on, on that BS job that you're working on. It's like, hey, you work at, <laughs> for example, you work at FedEx, you're getting $18. And it's like, for you to become a manager, this guy's in there that's been 20 years inside of FedEx. You know, driving the truck, they've never been able to make it to manager. That's just how it is. That's how the world works. So what are you going to do? You're going to get stuck in there and keep on doing the same BS job? Or you're going to say, you know what? I'm going to try another career. Something that's going to, you know, help me grow as a person. And at the same time, it's something fun, something that I can enjoy. So, guys, take this example from this kid. I'm going to add the the article in the comment section and yeah man like check this kid out you know read his story see all the things that he's been through um and just take it as inspiration man it's not for you to come in and be like oh man i just gotta be lazy and i'm gonna you know i'm gonna try it's not about trying don't say i'm gonna try to become this it's i'm going to become this all right so i love you guys make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video leave a comment share your story uh, you know uh, let us know where you at right now when it comes to uh, development are you still learning html css are you uh, done with that are you in stuck on javascript are you uh, working some type of back-end language are you dealing with more front-end frameworks what exactly is it that you're doing currently right now? Leave a comment. I want to know. The community want to know. You know, because sometimes we just want to know who's out here. You know, and it feels good. If I'm still stuck in JavaScript, it feels good when I hear somebody else. Oh, yeah, he's stuck on JavaScript, too. You get what I'm saying? Like, then from there, we both could help each other out. All right, guys. I love you guys. Stay up. Subscribe. Like this video. And check out my description, man. I have a couple of courses that will help you out to become a developer. And yeah, see you guys later.